Hey, Let me try that again, this time with voice. Hey guys, how the frig's it going? It's Thursday here on Vlogging Life. I got up about an hour ago, finally finished editing yesterday's vlog, and it's finally deploying to YouTube, and welcome to today's vlog. Yeah, after yesterday's blast from the past, I figured I'd start it off with the old intro. Why not, eh? Let's, let's get full-blown retro up in this back. Man, I really gotta turn off that uh, automated disabling the lights at 8.35 when I leave the house to go to work because I'm no longer leaving the house to go to work because it's been 58 days since I haven't had to leave the house to go to work. Anyway, I'm gonna make another coffee, rock a piss. Like I said, it's 8.30, so we gotta get to work soon. By that, I mean just sit at a desk and wait for things to happen. So yesterday, the video probably went pretty quick, so you probably missed it, but there was a part in the video where I uh, cut down a road and then found another bike path that I'd never been on that took me to that tunnel. I don't know if you caught it on the video, but that said bike path, you, the way I went was the way to the tunnel, but there was another double laned bike path going off to the side and I have no idea where that one goes. So one of these days we're going to have to take that an adventure. Now, um, up the road for me, there is another bike path that's kind of built like that and it goes, I, like I don't know where it goes. <laughs> It, it, I know one section of it because I used to ride it when I would go to my friend's house up on uh, just over the uh, the way there but I never went the other way and it looks like it pops out at the bottom of one street the street I was on that I turned off of and then it goes there I just don't know where the other end of that that I want to know where it goes because one of the biggest complaints and Adrian and I talked about this and a couple of guys from work and I talked about this there's no bike paths on this end of town but I think there is we just haven't found them and I think I might have stumbled across a part of it yesterday and a part of it in my youth. Whether or not they're still maintained, that's another story. But I do remember that when going through the one area when I was young, you basically wanted to keep your mouth closed and breathe through your nose the whole time because the amount of grasshoppers in that area that would just lunge out and slam into you were ridiculous. And if you had your mouth open at any given time, chances are you're having lunch. So it'd be fun to try and see where those go. And that beard's getting a little cray, eh? Yeah. Look at that. Big patch of white. Big patch of white, eh? Yeah, getting old. Getting old. Time to put a bullet in me, eh? Take me out to the pastures. Freak sakes. Alright guys, first break of the day. Oh, I should grab my coffee cup and go reload it. But first I should, uh, deload it. Just like that. I think I'm gonna have another coffee. But, uh... It looks pretty doom and gloom outside right now. It's uh, not too awesome out overcast and stuff. Um, I was going to go for a rep on the bike tonight. And I was like, oh, I should probably also work out. But then I was thinking, you know what? We got a three-day weekend coming up. I'm off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday because of the long weekend. And do I really want to be mowing the lawn on the long weekend? Probably not. Also, I got you guys on my uh, clone of a gorilla tripod right now. That I can uh, do hands-free coffee making over here. But uh, one thing I wanted to mention that uh, came to my attention on, uh, on Facebook is today marks the one year anniversary of my fat bike, El Biggity. So that's pretty sweet. It's been a year that I've owned it. You know what's funny? I've used it more this year already than I used it last year. Mainly because last year I had a hell of a time with the bike. I didn't have the leg power to push it around. I just wasn't strong enough to get up hills. You know, it's, it was a long time since I biked and I've never used those muscles before. And after realizing what muscles that you use when you bike, I started doing workouts at home to build up the muscle. And no guys, that workout was not using an exercise bike. That workout was doing, some people call them sissy squats. You know what? Sissy squats will target your, the, will target the area that uh, you use when you're pushing a bike. Sissy squats are king. And basically, a sissy squat Simply, if you grab a weight and you you basically kick your feet out at 45 and you go down and up, you'll feel it actually strike the muscle on the inside of your uh, leg. And when you're biking, you'll realize it's the same damn muscle. Man, I love it. I asked Google to turn on the dining room. She just sits there and plays with herself for half an hour and then finally does it. But anyway, sissy squats with a goblet or a kettlebell or whatever will do you good. But um, like it, it'll get that muscle that you're trying to hit to, uh, to grow. And then you'll notice that pushing the bike around afterwards is a hell of a lot easier. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some farmer's walks. Actually, no. 
I'm gonna do farmer's walks at noon. Right now what I'm gonna do is just pace and talk because I was thinking for tonight what I wanted to do. It's like I, I'm due for a workout because I didn't do one yesterday. So, so I was thinking uh, for tonight what I wanted to do, like I said, saying um, about the mowing of the lawn. I have oil outside. I'm thinking tonight what we might do after work is go out to the garage, grab the lawnmower, drain the old oil out, put new oil in, and then take a look at the, actually I'm gonna drain the old oil out, take the blade off, clear the deck, take a look at it for damage, see what we can do to fix it, make sure the shaft isn't bent or you know the seal isn't broken. Because like I said last year I had an issue where it was, uh, the, the blade was hitting the side wall of the deck. So I'd like to make sure that's no longer a situation and then go from there because uh, I really, 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 really do not want to have to buy a new lawnmower because they're about, I don't know, 300 bucks for a shitty one. And a shitty one is pretty much what I have now. So I hate to have to replace something if I can just get what I have working, working and get another year out of it. Because like I said, if I do replace it, I want to go with one of those battery operated electric egos just because they're, they're really good and they do a great job. And it'd be nice to have a lawnmower that no longer needs any form of maintenance such as oil changes or gasoline. Just take the battery, throw it on the charger, let it charge up, slap it into the guy and go out and push it around the yard. And they're super light and super nice. So we'll uh, get that all changed up and if we still have light when we're all done and everything's working, maybe I'll do the lawn tonight and get that out of the way so that tomorrow we can just go out and enjoy life for the weekend without having to do any chores. So we'll see how that plays out. Should be awesome. But I'm thinking on my next break and a couple breaks after that, I might come down here and just farmer walk it to try and burn some extra calories and to uh, basically get some exercise time in because I don't know if I'll be able to put in a workout tonight. I might do a short workout after I'm done the lawn. Uh, just work chest, back and shoulders and go from there. But I know tomorrow night after work, I really want to go for a rip on the bike and Saturday I got an idea for a long rip. And also tomorrow night I want to live stream. Friday night live stream. So you guys are watching this, it is Friday. So at night I want to do a live stream on YouTube. We're gonna continue on with Scrap Mechanic. I haven't had a chance really to play much. I've modified the truck for, for mining and all that. But because this week it's like during the week I have a routine and that routine doesn't include video games. It's literally get off work work out for 90 minutes or whatever either weights or cardio on the on fatty or whatever the case may be and then shower and then just relax for the rest of the night have dinner and then get the bed at a decent hour and so far this battle plan has been working because let me just show you my weight right now it's actually pretty awesome And that's fully clothed. This whole concept of hit keeping my macros where I want them, as in 225 grams of protein per day, and then keeping the carbs and the fat at around 100 grams, seems to be working for weight loss. I'm getting a gradual loss, plus I'm able to eat all the time, so that's great. And it's working and it's also helping with building muscle because the main thing you need is the amino acids from protein to grow more muscle. Now, obviously, if I would have done this, say, oh, I don't know, like freaking 20 years ago, I'd have a lot better results, but uh, it's never too late to train, people. Never too late to train. Don't let anybody discourage you from doing it. Sure, the older you get, the harder it becomes, but it's not impossible. So pitter-patter and get after it. Oh, my eyeball's discharging. I'm like crying over here, freaking allergies. No, it's not COVID, break off. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do tonight is we'll go outside and we'll play with the lawnmower and I'll try and do some, some shoulder workouts today throughout the, uh, the breaks in my my work do some shoulder work and some uh basically the, the farmer's walks is a full body workout uh if you do research on farmer walks you'll realize just how awesome they are for a complete body workout if you do them properly you'll work your arms your shoulders your lats your core and your legs so you know like i said before if you got anything heavy laying around the house pick it up and walk with it oh yeah and Last night my friend brought me this bar. It's off of her old 
uh, she called it a pilates bench or something uh, it goes on the bottom and you can do uh, push-ups off of it but what I was thinking about doing was ripping a hole right through the center of it and then running this here eye hook through it and then I can use it on here as a pull down bar so when I'm seated on my bench which I'm gonna bring in from over there right here I can do lat pull down not as wide of a grip as I like but um, you know what honestly I've seen people do the wide grip and do the narrow grip and a lot of people say narrow grip targets the lats way better because you can bring your arms back more and wide grip gets it real awkward in the shoulders so just for shits and giggles last night i was trying some ideas with it and i think it's going to work out pretty good so tonight we might put the drill press to work and make some more equipment for the house because you know what buying stuff is expensive because everybody up their prices like even on amazon the ropey i bought for 15 dollars they want 45 dollars for it now just because supply and demand and I don't blame them, you know, when supply and demand goes up, you might as well make a profit. Because once this all ends and the gym's reopen, well, there goes their profit. So, you know, get it while you can. Anyway, I'm due back. So I'll uh, chime back in later. All right, guys, peace. All right, guys, it's five o'clock. It's after shift. So today throughout the whole, you know what, I better grab my phone. But uh, today throughout the whole day while I was uh, working, I basically um, used fingerprint to open. That's weird. Normally my phone just opens when I'm at home. I guess the GPS is being awesome because it's a Samsung product. Uh. I noticed that with these Samsung phones that the GPS bounces around like an idiot and it's because they put it too close to the Wi-Fi sensor. So it causes like crossbreed interference which um, causes the GPS to every once in a while. Like I really notice it when I'm playing Pokemans. Like my guy will just take off running down the street but I'm standing still so it's stupid. Anyway, I better let him out. Enough with the tap dancing. There you go. This is what I gotta go through, guys. To let him out. He bounces around. The GPS on my phone, it's it's weird. If I turn off the Wi-Fi, I have no problems. If I have the Wi-Fi on and it's like seeking a Wi-Fi connection, it will do nothing but go crazy. So the solution is, is disable the Wi-Fi when you're not on Wi-Fi. Or if you're gonna be doing any GPS intensive stuff. You know, while I got doggy out here, let's go take a look at that lawn and see just how bad it is. I won't be able to mow it tonight. They're calling for rain like any second now. And you can smell it in the air. However, judging by what I see out here, I probably don't need to mow Ray yet anyway. I do, however. I'm gonna empty that crap out. Left that there all winter. Whoops. Oh, I left my good shovel out. Ooh, that's a mosquito pile. I'll let that fill up again. Hey, free lawn water. No, I won't. I'm gonna cap it. So, I don't think I need to mow. It's not tall. I thought it was worse than it looked from in the house, but it's still kind of ratty. Freaking dandelions are coming back. Are you pooping? Are you pooping? You're not pooping? Okay. I don't know what he's doing. Oh well. So, I like, ooh, this is actually making a comeback, or attempting to, eh? I'd rather deal with that sooner than later. Keep that nice and dead. Spray it with more borax, like we did over here. That seemed to work nice. Nothing wants to come back now. What was that? What's over there? Uh, whatever it is it's gone but so I was thinking about using the right here as my farmers carry come all the way down here up to about here and then drop and then turn around and then walk all the way back And the hardest part is right here when you're coming uphill. That'd be all right, but anyway, what I want to do tonight, like I said, is I want to uh, take care of that lawnmower. So I think he's done dropping ass with class. I'm not worried about where I step. I'm wearing my shitty shoes right now. I call them that because, well, 
they once were black. And I spray painted a car. And they failed to remain that way. All right, let's get him back inside. Jesus, he tried to go through me. Freaking dog's a nutter. Oh yeah, I wanted to grab that bar and that eyelid. Cause I'm probably gonna set up my drill press. So we're gonna need this. And I should take off my shoes. Cause I'm gonna have to go into the living room and grab my drill bits. Probably gonna need the metal bits to blast through that metal. And I'm gonna need my Sharpie in. No, oh, there's my Sharpie right there. Just uh, do the, you know what pocket it is. I was gonna do like I used to do at Walmart, hanging off my shirt, but I kinda can't, so I won't. Oh, it's dark in here. I can't see. Somebody turn on the lights. Oh yeah, that's my job. All right, um, I need this. I thought I had drill bits in here. Did I bring those back out? Uh, oh, there they are. Because we're going to try and build that lat pull down. So yeah, I've been doing uh, exercising on all my brakes. I did, uh, on the first break, I did 15 minutes of farmer carriers with overhead presses, military presses. Second, I did pretty much the same. On the third, you know what, I'm going to leave these in here. On the third break, I did the same. On the fourth break, I really had crap, so I did nothing. And on my fifth break, I did nothing. So I did about 45 minutes worth of farmer's carries today, which was pretty good. All right, let's go to the garage. I don't even know if I have any oil for that lawnmower. SAE 30, which will do. All right, let's get some light on the situation. I'm gonna crack the bay door too. All right, so this bar can go over here just for now. Same with my drill bits. Oh, where the hell can I set up a belt sander? I need to do some cleanup in this garage. Okay, let me move some stuff around because I want to set that thing up because I do want to sharpen the the blade on the lawnmower. Like I said, we won't be using it today because they're calling for rain any second. But at least we can get the oil changed on it. And that reminds me. Uh, do I have... This? <laughs> Even though it's covered in paint, is that a good bottle of oil? No. What are you? Your engine oil, four cycle, SAE 30. You feel full. Okay, what else do we got here? What are you? Mobile One, 5W30. Unsure of contents. Okay, I'm going to have to do some looking here. Oh, that wasn't even aiming at me. I'll have to do some looking and see what I have. I'll try them back in it a bit. So, because this is an old lawnmower, the way you drain the oil is the same way you put it in. Through there. So, what I normally do, first I disconnect the spark plug. Safety first. Now we're going to be dicking with the blade. And even though you have to have the handlebar pressed down to actually engage the mower, I'd rather not take the chance of the thing accidentally somehow magically starting up on its own free will and ripping my hand off because I need my hand. I'm going to borrow this 4x4 four four that my friend got for me to sit the mower on to get a little bit more height because you'll see in a minute. I don't even know if that's in the shot. Probably not. Ah, good enough. Okay. Get this thing out of the way. That's the grass shoot. Go ahead and pull the oil. You know, it's funny that oil actually doesn't look that bad. When did I do this oil? I think I did it last year. Did I do it when I shut it? Did I do the oil last year when I put it away? I did the oil on the snowblower, I think. I don't know if I did the oil on this one too, but I do have two SAE 30s over here. How does this oil look? Yeah, this is getting changed, okay. Even if it's not, it's getting changed. So normally, I don't use this piece of wood. I just use a two by four. But literally, this is how I drain it. As ghetto fabulous as it may seem. It's the only way I figured out how to do it. Is 
the only way I figured out how to drain the oil. There's no drain plug underneath. Nothing. Get as much of that shit out as possible. I'm sure there's a lot of crap under here. Is that going to stay up on its own accord? Yep. <sighs> so that deck seemed better days, eh? I had to bang out the deck here with my five pound sledge because it came in and the blade was hitting it. There's crap all over the place. I'm gonna see if I can grab something and clean that. Okay, so I was gonna sharpen this blade <laughs> until, until I realized that uh, I don't think they're supposed to look like that. I wish I had the old blade. That blade's three years old and I've never done anything with it. Is the old blade in there? No. I don't know where I put it. I remember I hung on to it because back in the farm days, Dave always said these things are great for redneck repairs on things when you need to, because it's spring steel and it's strong. So. I think I might just buy a new blade for it. I just don't know what kind of a blade I need. I was kind of hoping for some markings on here that would say something. Um, yeah, I, yeah, that was me. Uh, that was also me. Um, I was using uh, this thing and I cleaned up the deck. I'm just Trying to knock off as much of this crud as possible. Maybe there's a part number on here. But yeah, like I was striking at this. And just... I've never cleaned this deck off. Oh, Jesus. You stay there. Okay, this is obviously a two-hand operation. And what I did there was very dangerous. And I do apologize. But, um... Uh, yeah, I thought I'd show you guys that blade because she's pretty shot. We're going to need a replacement, that's for sure. I know a place for that. Alright, he filled it with oil and all that fun stuff, but like I said, the blade's shot, so... It'll fire. Here, we'll take it outside and I'll show you. But with that blade all wampus the way it is. But yeah, it's uh, in dire need of a new blade because <laughs> I'm pretty sure, pretty sure this blade is either three to five years old. And I think the reason why I can't remember where I got it from is because I never bought it. I'm pretty sure for Christmas one year, my parents bought me a blade for the mower because I was talking about how it cuts like shit and I wanted dad to sharpen it, but, and I never brought it over there to get it sharpened. So it never got sharpened. And then one year for Christmas, a blade just magically showed up in my stocking or something. I don't know, I don't know, but. That blade, I don't know if it's supposed to look like that, all bent and shit. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to. Not as wampus as it does. Um, so I think I might just replace it. I know Canadian Tire carries them. Uh, I'm just going to have to look and see for a Craftsman 6.25 horsepower. Is there any other model numbers on here that I can reference? I don't know. We'll look at that, Sears Canada. There's a model number there. I'm going to be able to pull something from that. 944. Yeah. So, what else did I want to do out here? Oh yes, that bar. Did I grab that eye ring? No, I didn't. I'm stupid. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to clean off my workbench. I need more workbench space. So I'm going to sit you guys down and get after that. And here comes that rain they were talking about. Freaking lovely. Alrighty, so I got this set up the way I want to use it. Just gave it a test fire. It spins. 
cool. I've never used this, guys, ever. I have no idea how it works. <laughs> uh, I just know that that's what you do to like stab things. And I can raise and lower the tray to like accommodate my depth of blastage. Okay, so basically what I want to do is I want to rip a hole through the dead center of this. So basically, I'm just going to sit there. I'm going to find dead center, mark it with a sharpie, and then. That's effective. There's like no light. Whatever. So I thought there was a laser's pointer on this thing. What does that do? Oh, there is a laser pointer. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> is there a light on it too? Like uh, it says there's a light, but I'm not seeing any lights. I don't know what that's all about, but. That's pretty sweet. X marks the spot. Neato. Okay, um, let me do some measuring and uh, we'll get it out of the center for this. Alrighty, I got my mark. Let's, uh, X marks the spot here. Sure. Alright, now I just gotta find a drill bit big enough to rip through it. And then rip through it. Alright, I want to get the action shot, but I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do that. Because I have nowhere to mount the camera. Okay, am I gonna be in the I'm gonna be in the way. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, well guys, I don't know what to tell you. I, I I don't know there's my tripod. Sweet. Okay, let me set this thing up. I didn't know where my tripod was and now I found it. Neato. See this is the reason why people hate videotaping projects. Spend more time trying to figure out how you're gonna get the shot than actually, you know, doing the project. It's stupid. Okay, I think you can see. Let's uh line that up. Safety third. Beauty. Well, it's on there. I just don't like this bit protruding out the bottom because that's the part you pull towards yourself. And if something breaks in the pulley system, that's going to be an impalement. And I can't find my freaking hacksaw. Now I have no cutting wheels for my Dremel. So that's all out. Now that I think about it, I just remembered something. Rex has my hacksaw. He borrowed it a long time ago to do, I can't remember what. There was something that he needed it for and I loaned it to him and I told him the blade might be a little shit on it, but it should get the job done. And I don't think I ever got the damn thing back. So Rex, if you're watching this and you still have my hacksaw, I need that. You know what else is a real pain in the cock, guys? Oh wait, are those what I think they are? Oh dude, sweet. Are these holy shit bars? Yeah, they are. I wonder if these will go on my bike. My ex bought these for her bike. And she never used them because she didn't know how to install them. But there's also like a brand new bike lock there that's never been used because my ex literally rode her bike twice and then quit because it was too hard. So I'm going to see if these will fit like my bike. I think I see why she never used them. This end here is supposed to go over this, your um, handle cover, your grip. Problem is, is it doesn't extend out to go over top of it. Oh well. All right, well, I don't feel safe using that as it is just in case if my homemade pulley system does break. Like I said, I don't want to impale myself on it. And I have no cutting wheels for my Dremel to cut them that way. And yeah, I don't know where my hacksaw is, so pretty sure Rex has it, but I'll need him to confirm that and see if he can drop it off someday, if he has it. I'm pretty sure I loaned it to him last. I'm pretty friggin' sure, because... He needed it for something, and I just can't remember what. Oh. Anyway, I'm pretty much done out here. There's nothing else I can do. And the weather sucks, so bike rides are out. That was a bird. So I'm going to shut down the garage. i got my phone, got my camera, got my Sharpie. Everything else can stay out here. Okay, we're good, we're good. Check the mail. Who are you? I got some emails. 
It's not even email. It's snail mail. Nothing else we can do out there. Let's go back inside. I'm going to wash my hands and get some DNA going. What time is it? It's 6.43. I could put in a workout. How are we doing on the calorie burn today? 2200? Yeah, maybe I'll do a light workout tonight. And then we'll get some dinner going. That sounds like a battle plan. Yeah. Yeah, I like that plan. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right. Peace. All right. Workout is done. Dinner is served. You know what, guys? I ate. It was good. But I think I'm going to call it for tonight. Uh, there's nothing else really going on. I did a good workout. So I just did a, a basic compound workout. If you're not sure what that is, literally, it's compound movements only. So bench, row, um, bench, row, military press, uh, squat, and deadlift. Just five compounds, five by ten. Easy peasy. Targets everything. Gets the job done. Gets your back, gets your shoulders, gets your chest, um, gets your biceps, gets your triceps. It's great. Compound movements. You can quickly move through it. That's why the workout was only like a half an hour. Because I just powered through it. Five, five sets or uh, five exercises, five sets, ten reps. Banged it out, had a shower, ate dinner. Here we are. So I'm going to shut her down. So anyway, people, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Uh, we're going to get a mower blade for that mower one of these days. Uh, right now they're asking people not to mow their lawns until mid-June to give the bees a chance to snack on the flowers that are coming up. Sure, whatever. I don't have any flowers. I have like four dandelions in the backyard and front yard's pretty much a cat litter box. So who cares? But anyway, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, guys. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and peace the frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.